it's more than six years since ticks in the country stopped responding to acaricide drugs designed to kill them. Unfortunately, there's been growing and fast spreading tick resistance to acaricides among cattle herds in Uganda, a problem the National Drug Authority has rated as an epidemic. Ticks have developed super resistance to virtually all of the available 21 acaricides in Uganda, making the development of an anti tick vaccine a national policy prerogative. That's why scientists at Makere University College of Veterinary Medicine, headed by Professor Margaret Simon Kahwa, have come up with a would-be solution to this problem through the development of an anti-tick vaccine to avert this problem. Professor Margaret says that ticks had become resistant to acaricides, which left many of the farmers without a solution to this problem. They have started emerging uh, resistance in the ticks so that during that time farmers didn't have a solution. The acaricides were not working and then the ticks were becoming resistant to the acaricides. At the same time, uh, His Excellency was looking for a solution and he wanted to bring in a vaccine from Chuba. And I knew since I had been working on a similar protein or a similar compound which is found in our ticks. So I thought it would be best for the local support. Ticks and tick-borne diseases are responsible for acute significant economic losses to Ghanaian farmers through debility, direct mortality, morbidity, loss of milk, and control costs in purchase of acaricides, chemotherapy, and vaccination. This protein, so that I could, it, could, it could come out as a candidate vaccine, so that it could be used on our local ticks. We, we were able to to adapt a technology that is used in, the, in Latin America to produce their, their protein. Right now, we, we, we have been able to produce the protein and we have tried it in uh, several animals and we have seen that it works. It works the same way like the other one, the, the vaccine that is used in Chuba. In fact, better because this one now is working on our, on our ticks and it also works even on those ticks that are resistant to the acaricides. She added that a farmer needs like two months in order to continue the use of acaricides for the ticks to start dying. After immunization, you, the farmer needs to, for a period of time like two, he will continue with the, with the dipping, with the use of acaricides. But then after that, then the ticks will start uh, being dying or they will, or when they, when if they don't die, then they will not produce the eggs. Or if they, they produce the eggs, then the eggs will not hatch to produce more ticks. So that means this farmer needs to vaccinate all his animals first, and then he also needs to to carry out uh, strategic interventions. In other words, he needs to to keep using the acaricide for a bit of time for within the first two months before he can see the effect. Dr. Kokas Ikwap, a lecturer at Biomolecular Resources and Biolaboratory Sciences at Makere University says that tests on the vaccine have already been done and they were not able to see any side effects. This candidate vaccine has two components. It has a proteitics and then it has adjuvant. To the, to the mice, then uh, regularly we sacrifice the mice and to look at the, at the organs and see whether there is any effect on the organs. And we are not able to see any effect on the different tissues and organs of the mice. So we believe that that shows that this uh, candidate vaccine, if it's approved later, will not have any effect on, on the meat. And if it doesn't have any effect on the meat, it means there will be also no effect on the humans who eat the meat. Secondly, uh, uh, our vaccine, the protein we get from the ticks, it's a protein that these animals will later break down. Uh, and and within, within a few months, there will be no protein of the tick in the animal. Only what the animals will have are the cells that know the structure of the protein that was given to them. So there will be no protein at all. And tested it using funding 
from His Excellency, the President of Uganda, and we thank him for that. So we wanted to know whether this anti-tick vaccine candidate induces an immune response, triggers the body of the animal to produce antibodies that, that, that we can see. And indeed, we are very confident that we did that work and indeed the animals we injected with that uh, candidate vaccine produced the antibodies.